Hey, what's up, y'all? It is that time of the month again, and I don't mean that time of the month. We're going to be talking about our Allure Beauty Box. This is the box for the month of... What month is this? March. Um, let's see here. So, like every month, we're going to be unboxing our Allure Beauty Box and going to see what kind of goodies that we have this month. Um, I did cheat. I did look and see what we're having because, again, this month, like last month, I am going to be trying everything on as I go along. And just in case you don't know about the Allure Beauty Box, the first month is $10 and each additional month after that is $15. It does come with a range of full-size and trial-size products. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and see what we got this month. Don't get in it because I'm pretty excited because like I said I did peek so as always whenever you get your box open it up and it has the little pamphlet in here that talks about the products that are in here as well as their full-size pricing now I did already take out everything and I have everything laid out in front of me here okay so the first thing that I have in here it is a sample size product and it is the Laneige water sleep mask um, it is for all skin types, just says water sleep mask, uh, purifying and moisturizing. Um, it is an overnight revitalizing gel mask with sleep scent quickly, no, delivers quick hydration. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to apply this. I'll apply this, um, you know, at night whenever I'm going to go to sleep and I'll let you know in the description box if I liked it, if it broke me out or anything like that. So there's not really any scent to it. It does have like a pretty like thick gel type of consistency to it. It does feel really nice on my skin. Yeah, no scent on that. Oh, and it already dried down on my hand. That was like no time at all. Okay, moving on. This is the La Roche Posey Amphiloia 60 Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. So, this is a sunscreen for your face, designed specifically for your face. Oh, it's a broad spectrum SPF 60. So, that's a pretty high sunscreen. Um, wouldn't recommend it if you're going to be taking a lot of pictures or anything like that, because under your foundation, it will cause a flashback. Um, but, you know, on days whenever you're going to be out and about in the sun, wear your sunscreen. It's important. But I don't smell anything. So, no scent. Um, and it does say on here, where does it say? Um, it's a fast absorbing matte finish for normal to combination skin. So if you have really dry skin, just kind of be aware of that if you do want to get this. And this I'm pretty excited about. It is the Simple Sensitive Skin Expert Water Boost Hydrating Gel Cream with Minerals and Plant Extract. So this is for dehydrated and dry skin, and like I said, I have been getting a little bit more drier than normal. So before sitting down and filming, I did wash and exfoliate my face. I have not applied any moisturizer yet because I did want to give this a go and see how this works. Let's see, it works naturally with skin for instant and continuous hydration throughout the day, and with regular use, it boosts skin's natural hydration process. So that sounds pretty interesting. Um, I would definitely like to give this a go and use it probably as like my daytime moisturizer and then something thicker and more hydrating at night. Maybe like this. So, moving on. We have three more things to talk about. We got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, I really appreciate that they sent a foundation, but this is pretty dark for my skin so that is why I'm wearing a long sleeve with a little bit higher of a neckline that way we can blend and you can't tell that I'm actually very white unless I go like that so and this is in the shade Y335 so whenever we apply it later we'll see just how it reacts with my skin I've never used a makeup forever foundation before so I'm very excited Next, we got the Ico London I Do Liquid Liner. It is waterproof, and it has, like, a felt tip pen to it, so. It's a pretty black line. I like it. I hope it dries down to, like, a matte formula because I don't like shiny eyeliners. It's just not my thing, but we shall see. And the last thing that we got is another uh, sample from Makeup Forever, and this is the Artist Rouge Cream. It is a lipstick. 
Um, it is a creamy, high-pigmented lipstick, and this is in the shade... Maybe it's in the shade C211. Here is the little bitty baby. Perfect color. Absolutely love this color. Just watch that. It's super creamy. So that's the shade right there. So now that we got all of that out of the way, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and start applying my makeup. And I'm going to show you clips of me applying all of these products today. Like I said, I am going to leave out the water sleep mask because I do want to use that tonight before I go to bed. I'm going to go ahead and use my Minty Mint uh, lip balm that I got in, I believe it was last month's box. And go ahead and put that on my lips. I'm still, I've still been using this consistently. I love it. It's, oh, it's so great. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to apply the products and talk a little bit more about them. And we'll see how it goes along the way. So first, I am going to use my hydrating gel cream from Simple. Ooh, that feels so cooling. I'm going to drag it down my neck. Right here, underneath my eyes, I've been getting pretty dry. Um, I really want to invest in a good eye cream that'll help me with my dark circles. Well, I don't really care if it helps with dark circles because I can conceal those. But my fine lines are out the yin-yang. Oh my god, y'all. They're so bad. So it does say in the pamphlet that you would either receive this hydrating gel cream or you would receive the um, Simple Water Boost Micellar Makeup Remover Eye Pads. So, so two of the main hydrating ingredients in here is glycerin and lactic acid. I really like this. I'm, um, I'm totally digging it. Um, so it is pretty absorbed into my face right now. It did leave like a slight, slight tacky feeling, but it's not overly tacky to where you would feel like you have something on your skin. Um, I definitely feel hydrated. So we are going to move on to this. This is the, like I said, the La Roche Posey. Um, I can't pronounce this word. Athelonis? Anthelois? I don't know. It's a sunscreen. Let me apply a little bit of this. It is super duper runny. Very, very thin. That is absorbing super quickly. So for the sunscreen, a full size product of it does retail for $19. I'm gonna let this sink into my skin for just a minute. Um, I am going to go ahead and prime off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with my Revlon Pore Filler like I always do, um, and just in my more pore ridden areas, which is almost my entire face. So I'll be right back with you. I'll be right back with you. What is this, a game show? No, okay. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so my skin is prepped and we are ready to go in with our foundation. So like I said, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation, and I believe mine is in the shade Y335. This is going to be dark for me, so let's just move on past that. And I'm just going to pump it onto my palette and then apply it to my face with my EcoTool sponge like I always do. We applied a couple pumps. This is so dark. It is a pretty runny consistency. And the full size of this product will set you back $43 at Sephora. So, let's just see. Oh my god, girl! This isn't going to be good. I'm probably going to have to wipe off my face makeup before I go out to dinner tonight. That's bad. I might have to give this sample to my mom because my mom is uh, pretty tan and dark complected compared to me. <gasps> That's bad, y'all. Oh, but I at least want to get through it to see if I'll at least like the finish of it and the coverage. This is bad. I mean, it's really not even covering like my darker pimples or anything. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Mm -mm. Try to go in with an ankle top kabuki brush. Let me see if I can build up the coverage a little bit. Ugh. 
color aside, the actual foundation. Let's get into that. Let me get my mirror. So, it did do a pretty... I can't scratch my face or else you'll see my white skin. <laughs> um, so, it did do a pretty good job um, with covering my redness. But I don't know if that's because the foundation is so tan on me, so dark on me. Or if that's just the foundation. Uh, my foundation always settles in into my WTF lines right between my eyebrows and into this scar that I have um, right at the top of my forehead. Um, and it is settling in there. Um, between my eyebrows, it doesn't look too bad right now. Um, it does give a pretty... Uh, it's more of a natural finish. It's not too dewy, but it's definitely not a matte finish. There is a little bit of a glow to my skin. So I'm not going to do like an all-day wear test with this or anything. Um, I will update you down in the description below how it did wear throughout the day in case you are curious. But I'm going to stop bitching about it and we need to move on. So I am back and I have the rest of my face makeup on as well as my eyes, shadows, and my eyebrows. Um, I'm just going to run through real quick and show you what I put on and then we're going to finish up the rest of the look. So, for my face. I use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the shade Fair. And then I use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I set my concealer with my Cody Airspun, and this is in the shade Translucent. And then I set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 230 uh, Natural Buff. So for my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I used my Benefit Hula Bronzer. My use my Cargo Blush in the shade Bali. And for my highlight, started to go in with my Wet n Wild highlight in the shade Precious Petals. Um, but then I remembered that since I am a little bit more tan, I wanted to go in with my Becca highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. And, oh, it's beautiful. So for my brows, I went in with two different products today. I used my L'Oreal uh, Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brunette. And I also used my Maybelline Brow Tattoo? No. I also used my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. And this is in the shade Deep Brown. Um, but how I like to use this, because this wand is a really, like, fibery-like wand, I will take it on an angled brush, like an angled eyebrow brush, and I will take some of the product off of there, and I will use it as a pomade to kind of give some structure to my brows, and I will comb it through my brows once there's a little bit less product on it, and I've been loving doing my brows like that. My absolute favorite. So then I went in with my Makeup Revolution palette in Iconic Vitality, and I just used this dark brown shade here, um, and I also used a little bit of this gold, um, a couple of these shades as well in my crease. So now we're going to move on to our eyeliner, and I'm going to use the Ico London I Do Liquid Eyeliner, and this is waterproof. Let's just see. I'll zoom you in just a little bit. Okay. Not even. Okay. Alright y'all, how different are these wings? I am really enjoying this eyeliner. Um, I have not used an eyeliner with a felt tip like this in quite a while. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I like how it looks. It did try down to a very matte black formula. It is very black. Um, and if you do have to kind of layer over it a couple times, you know, or if you need to go over the line to make it a little bit crisper, 
it does that really well without taking off some of the eyeliner. Um, I have noticed, for instance, um, so with this Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Lacquer Liner, if I try to go over it too many times or if I try to make a line really crisp and there's already some eyeliner over there, it is going to take some of that eyeliner off. Um, but with this Ico eyeliner, it's not doing that and I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to jump off of the camera, I'm going to apply my mascara and some lashes and we'll be right back to finish up with our lip. Alright y'all, so I have my mascara and my lashes on. My, for my mascara today, I used my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. For my lashes, I went in with my Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick and it is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream. Please don't break. Might have to go put this like in the fridge or something. Okay, and here's the lipstick applied. Um, I really, I do like it. Um, I'm just, I'm not really a creamy type of lipstick girl. I do like my matte liquid lipsticks, um, but this is very, very comfortable. The color is really pretty. Usually I go for something that's a little bit more like pinky nude if I am going to have a regular lipstick. Anything deeper than like a nudie pink type of color, I do like to have that in a lip liquid lipstick form just because I know that it's not going to slip and slide around. It's not going to get on my teeth or anything like that. But with that being said, this is a very beautiful lipstick. It's comfortable. It feels so moisturizing and so great. Um, and if you did want to get this, this lipstick is in the shade C211 and it retails for $22 at Sephora. And I also forgot to mention earlier, can't believe this, in our box we also got the Orbe Free Styler Working Hairspray. Um, so that's why my hair is, uh, looking a little crazy. I didn't do it because I am going to go ahead and curl my hair and then use this hairspray. I like using a lot of hairspray. I'm from Texas, duh. That hairspray doesn't taste very good, just to let you know. So we'll do a quick rundown of what I liked from the March Allure Beauty Box. The Laneige, Laneige, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, the Water Sleep Mask, I will update you down in the description below. So make sure that you check that out. Um, the uh, La Roche Posey, Pose, La Roche Pose, whatever. The sunscreen, the broad spectrum sunscreen, uh, SPF 60. Um, I mean, I liked it. I mean, it's a sunscreen, so I kind of have to go outside, see if it gets sunburned. As far as how it feels, it felt great. It was very lightweight. It had a more watery consistency. It blended in great. Simple water boost hydrating gel cream. I loved it. Um, I'm definitely going to keep using it. I'm going to use this in place of my normal moisturizer right now to see if I like it any better, any worse, whatever, and I'll update that whenever I run out of this. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y335. Um, shade aside, I can say that I do like it. Um, my skin looks really great. I mean, the it gave some pretty decent coverage. But if I get my shade, I would definitely love to use it in a video and, you know, kind of test that out compared to this one and see if it really was the shade that was masking some of my uh, imperfections, like my scarring and things like that. Um, but I mean, right now, it doesn't look bad. Um, right here... I mean, you can kind of see some of my discoloration coming through, but it doesn't bother me. I would definitely wear it out again. The finish looks great. I have very minimal creasing right here between my eyebrows. Every single foundation settles into my scar up here, so that's nothing new. 
my chin looks great, my nose looks great, it's not breaking up, my concealer's blended over, over it perfectly. So the Ico, I do... She keeps freaking me out because Chris told me that there's supposed to be a package coming to the house and I have to keep checking the gate because he didn't give them the gate code. Dakota keeps barking and I keep thinking that there's someone here, but there's not. Anyways, and I don't have pants on. <laughs> okay, so the Ico I do liquid liner. I love it. I'm going to use it until this is absolutely used up. I mean, it gave a very black matte wing. I guess it mostly kind of depends on how you like your liners. Do you prefer gels? Do you prefer a eye coal? Do you prefer a liquid liner with a felt tip like this or with a regular brush tip? So that's kind of something that is your preference and you'll have to decide if you want to do that or not. But I mean, like I said, this is awesome and I'm really, really pleased with it. The Makeup Forever Lipstick. I like it. Um, oh, see, look at there. I got so many teeth. And that's the reason why I don't like traditional lipsticks that much. It's a beautiful color. It's a nice, like, light plummy type of a color, but it's not something that I would reach for on a daily basis. If I go any darker than, like, a nudie pink, like I said, I like to have that in a liquid lipstick because I know it's not going to move on me. But it's very beautiful. It's very comfortable, very hydrating. I probably would consider getting it in like a lighter shades. Um, definitely think that would be a future purchase. Last but not least, our Orbe Free Styler Working Hairspray. It's hairspray. It it's working. <laughs> it's working. I mean, I honestly I don't see much of a difference. Um, I usually use the Garnier Fruit Tees Volume Hairspray because my hair does lack volume. Um, but I mean, I, I like it. It's very, I sprayed a lot. You saw how much I sprayed. Um, but it still feels very soft to the touch. Um, it's not crunchy, nothing like that. Um, so I mean, I like it. I'll use the rest of it up. Am I going to repurchase it? Eh, I don't know. I mean... My other hairspray works fine. It does leave me a little bit more crunchy, but honestly, it's not that bad. I definitely like this month's box. I'm definitely excited to see what next month's box brings. That was a mouthful. If you liked this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, I loved doing this video. I'm excited to keep using some of the products and definitely going to repurchase some and... See where life takes us. I want my stuff to get here. This side of my hair, it needs help.